Good morning, this is Angela from North Carolina and you are looking at my beer stein collection. These steins were inherited by my mother in 1965 from her aunt. Her aunt was very well traveled and married to a wealthy man and they spent two months in Europe in the late 1800s which is where she bought the steins. The two here were not very expensive. They were pretty much a generic stein you can find them online. They are not valuable because they were not particularly commissioned by anyone in particular. They were just for sale at gift shops and stores throughout Germany, mainly for tourists and people just to use at home. This was a commissioned piece. Commissioned pieces have special handles. The thumb handle on this is designed to represent whoever commissioned it, which I'm not sure, you know, who did this one, of course, but it is signed and numbered. This is the oldest one that we have. As you can see, it's the most simple. It was made in the um, 14th century, and it is worth a small car. This one also was made in the 14th century, and it was commissioned by a monastery for their monks. See the monastery on top? Very plain and simple. Monks would not have wanted anything ornate. As you can see with this one, there's filigree etched in. And all of the other ones have fancy tops, which would have gone against what monks believed in. Beer steins evolved in the 14th century. The bubonic plague hit Europe. Flies came out of nowhere. There were millions of flies, and the flies carried the plague. And so Germany, in its infinite wisdom, had all of the outdoor beer halls. And so they immediately made a rule that you must have a lid on all of your beer mugs. And the beer stein was officially born. I think this is very appropriate timing since we're in the middle of our own pandemic. You'll notice that I do leave the dust on them. You really don't clean them a lot. And when you do, it's just with warm water and a little bit of soap. This one was cleaned. My father bought this one for my mother for her birthday and he bought it in Charleston in the antique shop. Someone had cleaned it. So it lost half of its value because it was cleaned. But it's very pretty. See, it's a half pint. They're all marked. The markings, see, it tells you the size, the amount of beer that each one will hold. That's one liter. This one is really cute, though. It's got a little man. This is a would-be lover of someone inside of here. Let's see who we have. One second, please. If I drop it, I'll cry. Let's go up here. It is a lady on a fence, and her would-be lover is whispering sweet nothings across the fence. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little beer stein tutorial. Take care. Bye-bye.